A top-ranking NOAA administrator sees how millions of dollars in grant money is spent here in Hawaii. Yeah, he also gets to see how conservation efforts on land help to improve waters at Mauna Loa Bay. Our Paul Drews is live in East Oahu to report on the Bay's Ridge to Reef Restoration Project. Paul. Well, many times you'll see very visible conservation efforts here along Mauna Loa Bay. People pulling out invasive algae, but what you may not see are in the nearby valleys and mountains, other efforts there to protect the bay here. A change is taking place in Pia Valley as invasive species are pulled out while protective fences and new plants go in. We are planting native, endemic, threatened and endangered species, uh, plants like a'ali'i and ohia and um, ma'o, plants like that, carex, just to restore the forest floor and then eventually the different layers of the canopy. And we're hoping to bring back the biodiversity of Pia Valley to make it a more resilient forest. There's also work in streams to prevent erosion and catch runoff. And while that work happens more than a mile from the ocean, it still makes an impact on the bay. So a lot of the problems that we confront in the ocean don't originate there. They come from the land. So there's runoff, there's pollution, you know, you see brown water advisories after heavy rains. And for us to really impact positive change in the ocean, we have to look Malka to see where up there we can address some of the issues that are impacting the ocean. This is just one of several efforts in the Moanalua Ridge to Reef project that also adds green infrastructure in urban areas and puts in climate resistant corals. So all of those work together into a healthy ecosystem and watershed. The collaboration of groups caught the attention of National Fish and Wildlife Foundation and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Across the country, we're seeing extraordinary demand for these kind of projects. Last year, those federal agencies gave an $8 million grant to the Mauna Loa project, money they feel is well spent. This investment, typically for projects like these, we see uh, like a five or ten to one return on investment in terms of being able to use the land effectively, conserve the land, ensure that it is here for future generations. The reforestation effort is currently in its third year of a 10-year plan, and the big increase in grant money accelerated conservation efforts. The NOAA funding was fantastic because it's like a fuel injection. We're all sitting here working together, and then when you get a large grant like we were able to from NOAA, it means everyone can propel their project forward at a faster pace. Spinride says the grant process is highly competitive, in some instances getting 30 times the request than available resources. So what tipped the scales in the favor of this East Oahu project? is not just in the nature of the project itself, but how robust is the collaboration with local communities, local organizations. That's what makes the difference. Bye-bye. Bye. And there could be even more money coming to conservation groups in the islands. NOAA is looking at other uh, conservation efforts around the state, ones that would also help to protect our islands from sea level change. Reporting live at Mauna Loa Bay, Paul Drews, Island News.